Have you ever experienced something you just can't explain? Those bumps in the night. Are they something more? Maybe. Photojournalist Dave Scarnato and I had the chance to join a group of paranormal investigators just in time for Halloween. Check this out. By doing this kind of work, it's validation that there is something beyond the physical plane, that there is something somewhere we go. We met up with the Maryland Paranormal Investigators in Brunswick, Maryland. It's a small town sitting just off the Potomac River, 60 miles outside of D.C. Well, tonight we're going to investigate the Brunswick Heritage Museum. The museum is dedicated to the rich history of Brunswick and its long love affair with the railroad. This building once served as a meeting place, a store, even a speakeasy were only a password granted access. Is it haunted? Is it haunted? Uh, I would say, and I can say, definitely yes. Helping the team set up for the investigation was a surprisingly technical activity with yards of cables, sound condensers, laptops, cameras, the vibe, very scientific. It's not witchcraft, it's not sorcery, we're using we're using known um, technologies. Tonight we're looking to make contact with whomever might be out there. It's very interesting the first time you play back that recorder and you get a voice and you don't understand or know where that voice is coming from. Could these disembodied voices belong to one of the many faces in these faded photographs? Have either one of you ever been in a situation where you've been frightened? A couple, only twice. What we wanted to know was, would we be frightened tonight? It's not going to be an unpleasant experience. It's not a dark type of experience. The investigators are looking for communication, impacts on the environment around us, and trends on the devices. We're trying to find um, evidence of order um, where there should be no evidence of that. Check out this structure light sensor camera. If forms are detected, they appear on the computer screen. That's me, obviously. Our focus tonight is electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP. It's the idea that spirits can use white noise to speak to the living. We asked a ghost to say my photographer's name, Dave. Here's what we got. Listen one more time. Can you hear it? What are the chances we hear the name Dave just a few seconds after we ask? Is this evidence of order where there should be none? So these things can't tell um, exactly where the source of the mental energy is coming from. Could possibly be from us. We could be getting excited, you know, things are going on, or possibly from post-mortem agencies. Keep in mind, we're in an old building with lots of history surrounded by things such as wicker caskets, Civil War uniforms, old tools. The emotional pull surrounding these items could be strong for some ghosts. The other thing that is an interesting component of this building is the artifacts, because we have, you know, two, three floors of artifacts. So we get some things that can't be explained, and we can only tie them to the artifacts. We all know that feeling something you can't explain. That feeling you're being watched and your hair stands on end. See that? Sometimes you just know when you're not alone.